You can confirm then that the information about, for example, the Indian Home Affairs Minister and his alleged involvement in in these crimes in Canada, that was not released in, in Canada, however. Can you confirm that? The journalist called me and uh, asked me if it was that person. I confirmed it was that person. Oh, you, you confirmed? A journalist that has uh, various sources. Uh, he asked me if uh, that was one of the people, and I confirmed that it was. That was the Canadian Deputy Foreign Affairs Minister, David Morrison, saying that he had confirmed to a US newspaper that Indian Home Minister Amit Shah was involved in the plot to kill Canadian nationals. The Canadian minister was referring to the Washington Post story from last week, where the US newspaper had reported that the killing of a Sikh separatist in Canada last year was part of a broader campaign of violence against Indian dissidents. The Post had mentioned Amit Shah in the report, but on Tuesday, the Canadian government officially confirmed the involvement of Amit Shah in the killing of Canadian nationals. The Foreign Affairs Minister did the disclosure about Shah at a hearing by the Canadian Parliamentary Committee on Public Safety and National Security. During the televised hearing, Conservative Party MP Raquel Dancho questioned Canada's decision to share information about Amit Shah's involvement with the Washington Post. When Dancho asked Morrison, the Canadian Deputy Foreign Minister, the question, he said, and I quote, the journalist called me and asked me if it was the person. I confirmed it was that person. Watch the video to understand what exactly transpired in the House of Commons in Canada. You can confirm then that the information about, for example, the Indian Home Affairs Minister and his alleged involvement in, in these crimes in Canada, that was not released in, in Canada, however. Can you confirm that? That was only released in the, in the Washington Post, pardon me. So this is not an information we provided to, to the journalist? Pardon me, it was not information you provided? No. Who provided that information then to the journalist? You're not sure? But that was not yourself who provided that information, was it? We did um, not. Mr. Morrison, can you comment? Did you provide sure. that information? Sure. Um, the journalist called me and uh, asked me if it was that person. I confirmed it was that person. Oh, you, you confirmed. So you This is a journalist who's written extensively on this topic. Mm -hmm. uh, a journalist that has uh, various sources. Mm -hmm. uh, he asked me if uh, that was one of the people, and I confirmed that it was. Thank you, Mr. Morrison. Uh, in that day, you can confirm both Mr. Rin and Mr. Morrison that the Prime Minister did not release these information to the Canadian public but it was released in the Washington Post, correct? Released in the Washington Post, yes. I'm just racking my memory mm -hmm. for exactly what the Prime Minister said. The Royal Canadian Mounted Police, which is the RCMP, held a press briefing to say that its investigation were beyond the Niger killing and involved evidence of Indian diplomats allegedly using members of jailed gangster Lawrence Bishnoi's gang in criminally intimidating Canadian nationals of Indian origin. The evidence revealed the modus operandi used by India to target people living in Canada. The government of India mode of operating starts with, a with the collection sorry, of information on Canada's base individuals through diplomats and consular officials in Canada and also other individuals acting as proxies. Some of these individuals and businesses were coerced and threatened. This information is then shared with senior levels of the government of India, who then direct the commission of serious criminal activities against Indo-Canadians through the kinetic use of Lawrence Bishnoi's organized crime network. Bishnoi is currently in jail in India and is able to order these actions through his gang, which has extensive criminal networks in India and internationally. Serious crimes committed in Canada include homicides, assassination plots, perpetrated extortions, and other extreme violence.